taste would be a good one though. Taste give up because then you can eat healthy. Yeah. <laughs> all the bad, all the things that taste great are shitty for you. So then, if you gave up taste, you could actually. I'd I'd be eating all kinds of healthy stuff. Do you think you'd have as much fun on vacation? Well, so like. When I go on vacation, that's the only thing I want to do is eat good food, though. Yeah. It would change my vacation plans, I think. Mm. So, to what? <laughs> taste? I'd, I'd lose taste. It, like your destination? Start eating healthier food. Like, yeah. I'm not going to go to this place because right. I want to eat healthy. Let's save this. Yeah. yeah. Save? Well, we, we are we are rolling. Welcome back to another episode of Straight Down the Middle. It's today's very special guest. Tyler Shatley joining yeah. us here. Come Let's on, go. Yeah. Ten, Pride of the Jags. Pride Ten of the freaking Jack. years. Ten years in the yeah. NFL. Unbelievable. Decade. And a hometown, I would say hometown favorite, wouldn't, wouldn't you? Absolutely. You yeah, yeah. Hometown yeah. hero. You're like Congrats. a, I see, you, I know you don't listen to the sports radio. We all listen to it religiously. I was about to say this. Religiously, Tyler. They, you're immune to any kind of criticism because they ride that offensive line's ass on the on the radio they sure do they never ever ever they never go after six they never go after you dude never love that yes. Yes. Love that. I, I, yes. i've spent an entire career creating that now so Good. it's nice that yeah, <laughs> yeah but it's a it's not paying off it's a real thing i mean there's there's That's something coming from it. inside the building people inside the building feel the same way too clearly right i mean you would think if yeah. that opinion holds true for them I don't know. Maybe I mean, I got, ten, maybe ten years with the same sleep. squad. Okay, so where are we at right now? You're, you're you're free agent right now. Free agent. Yep. Just what, w- take us through that process. Your agent is he just shopping or just poking around? Yeah. So uh, right now we are just kind of waiting to see. You know, obviously the Super Bowl was what a couple of days ago. Right. We just finished up. Nothing can officially happen uh, right now unless the Jag like the Jags could call. Uh, the Jags are the only team that could um, initiate. I couldn't initiate with any other team. No other team could initiate with me until free agency opens, which I believe is like midway through March. Is that early March. is that very strict, or do, or do people get around that? Um, I don't know. I mean, I think it's <laughs> like if you're <laughs> it, like it, no okay, tampering, so no tampering. If, if you're T yeah. Higgins right now, and you're you're a free agent, you're you're telling me nobody's poking around there till March, whatever his agents doing all that work. Right. Right. Yeah. I mean, I don't, oh, I don't yeah. know. Like I, I can't speak to that. Cause I don't know if I was an agent, I don't know. Maybe if I talked to somebody's like friends, friend. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe something like that. Cause I, I'm sure like but right now I'm sure they're just gathering information. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm yeah. sure like T Higgins agent is, uh, putting together, you know, Hey, like this guy, you know, you know T he's had this many catches, this many yards, whatever the guys that have had similar uh stats are making this much money we think we could get that or reset the market you know uh-huh. go up a little bit because you know every year like it kind of goes up a little bit so i think that's a lot of what this time is is just preparing your argument for your player if i'm an agent you bring yeah. up t higgins why is that because is well, he I rumored just, to the jags like he got no a no Trevor, no, no uh, not at all i just i do the radio sometimes in town if like hicken or prosser's out of town i'll fill in and we were one day we were look it was fuck two weeks ago and we were looking at the free agent list of uh-huh. like who and josh allen josh list, allen's yeah. like the third the third ranked free agent right now mm-hmm. so really? he he's up there yeah he's gonna get paid by somebody um yeah but no t higgins I, i'm pretty sure like C- cincinnati's got a few wide receivers that yeah. are free agents we've got a pretty ones. good receiver room I'd, oh yeah, yeah. Mm, no i was yeah. just bringing it up i'd love to example. see but i'd like to see t higgins <laughs> On the sideline as well. Same. So you play O line. You're kind of a. They'll. I get. Is it because you're a veteran? You they shift you around. Like you are you just plugging in whole. Like if someone gets banged up, oh hey Tyler can play that position. Tyler's reliable. There's is, is that kind of your role right now? Oh, so that's yeah. That's kind of been my role, really the entire time I've been here. I you know I came in, um, I was that was just like my only shot to make the team uh-huh. was coming in. I, like I'd played guard in college the last two years. I'd start on defensive line, start and then went to guard um, when I got to the NFL. And they are like, that's like first thing they're like, you need to learn how to snap. Cause like your value will be as a like oh, really? guy that can play multiple positions. Yeah. Um, 
So yeah, and that's kind of how it went. Man. How hard is it to learn how to snap? Uh, I feel like the actual like oh like snapping a football is not hard. Like under center, it's, you know, it's fine. You just put it back there. Like you just kind of get used to that. The gun snaps. In theory, it's like oh yeah, just you just snap it back there. Yeah, I know there's a lot more. But the hard part is like snapping it and then being like okay now there's a guy like breathing down my neck. Yeah. You know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but it's just I mean it's like anything else like riding a bike like you do it enough and then you kind of quit thinking about it and then you can focus back on you know playing the rest of the game uh but yeah so that's why i started out like learned how to snap and then honestly man for the first i don't know eight years of my career that's majority of what i played was like like i would fill in mostly at the center position i know mm-hmm. especially the last i don't know year like six seven eight uh i mean i was playing uh you know like four or five six games at center yeah um we had both of our guards at the time like you know, know uh starting back and see aj can got here the year after me and then i mean he was super healthy he was a real durable guy yeah uh a great player obviously and then um we've we've rolled through some left guards uh yeah we have let's see early on zane Beatles was here he was super uh, healthy <laughs> Dude. Um, it's got to be tough. A, so tough it, off season. Go, is it, from, go ahead. Is it exclusive to the Jags? Like it feels like we're banged up more. Than, is it just because we're in it here in town and that's what we have in front of our face, or is the whole league is is throughout the year is attrition like a battle for everyone as much as it seems like for the Jags? I would say it's everyone, I, but that's the thing, man. I feel like there are years where the teams that kind of like surprise everyone sometimes that's it stay the healthiest they stay the healthiest Mm -hmm. and that's what like Like their trenches are the healthiest yes yes because i mean if you look at it like um yeah like i was saying like you know we've had years where like we were just healthy guys like there was uh i want to say it was 2018 i didn't play a snap of like real meaningful football Mm -hmm. like it was just like maybe they'd send me in a couple of times at the end of the game just to like take a knee just to like get a little like extra cash on the side from like and that was a weird year 2018 wasn't that nick Foles and Minshew? i think it was nick yeah. or was that bortles his last year no no that, yeah that was bortles okay Foles was 19 i believe so we had a healthy o-line that whole season the entire season unbelievable i think it was, it was either 18 or 19 <laughs> mm. but then uh i played mostly center but like we had like norwell when norwell came in that dude's a tank yeah uh yeah i feel like he was just i mean just built differently you know yeah. what i'm saying and he was never hurt so i got mostly i was playing center um and then like, obviously last year uh when i say last year, i mean like 2022 uh that's when barch went down with his knee and i played a lot of left guard then and then last year you know we kind of had a revolving door a little bit at yeah. left guard so that's it's honestly these last two years have been kind of out of normal for me of like playing mostly guard as opposed to playing mostly center. Who's your favorite quarterback you played with for the Jags? Uh, I don't want to say a favorite dude. I've, like honestly, like I don't think uh, we haven't had a quarterback. I didn't like really. Yeah. Pretty Obviously, solid. I'm gonna say Trevor right now. Yeah. He's my guy. Like he just uh, bought you a how, golf cart. Just bought me a golf <laughs> cart. <laughs> Have you taken that thing around the neighborhood a few Absolutely. times? Absolutely. Yeah. So it's funny. We had a, we actually had a golf cart. I bought it off like my parents, and they had to like redo the motor on it, and dude, it was so slow. Like it would go like n- like with me on it, like we're topping out at nine <laughs> miles an hour, <laughs> and you know, like we're getting like my son would like want to ride his bike, and I'm like, you can't like you're going too fast. Yeah. I can't keep up with you on the golf cart. <laughs> like, this thing will go twenty. Really nice. rolling? Yeah. What what what, it, what has changed the most in ten years in the game in your eyes? I do feel like there are a lot of little rules inside, like especially like in the trenches. Uh, like is it got? Uh, it's gotten clearly. It's gone more passing. Is it, what absolutely. is what does that do to your position? Is it easier to pass block? Would you rather pass block, run block? I'd rather run block. Yeah, I think, and I say that like I mean they're both hard, but. Like you say, it's when when we're passing the ball, dude. That's what they're made to do. Like the defensive linemen, like they're getting more and more athletic, mm-hmm. and I'm definitely not getting any more athletic than like I I peaked definitely like maybe rookie year, probably before that on <laughs> my athleticism. Uh, and I feel like pass blocking takes more athleticism. Like run blocking is long. It's like you're doing more like double teams and stuff. Uh-huh. 
I don't um, know how y'all get don't get rolled up on every play. I mean, there's there's just so yeah, much happening at the bottom the of the pile to yeah. the legs, and you, you see you know fall back. I'm like, guys, yeah. done. No, no, just y'all are like Gumby as well. Kind of Gumby, kind of just also just like really stiff and numb, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's funny. I was just at the chiropractor this morning, and like they did like an X-ray. How the hell do they crack you at the chiropractor? Uh, they don't really. They just well, like the new one, the, the one I was going to, like they use like the the drop tables. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I think it's more like the shock of it, just like oh. But <laughs> I was doing my X-rays, all right? And uh, the lady was like doing the X-rays, and like she gets it, and she goes, oh. oh. I was like, "What?" She's like, "Nothing. No, it's fine. I've, I've seen worse." I'm like, "Oh, nice. Like, Were you in a what? car accident yeah, yeah, last week?" Yeah. <laughs> she showed me. I was like, "Man, like that doesn't look good." What was? Which part? Uh, upper back. Ooh, upper. It was, it was a little like a little scoliosis going on. Oh uh, yeah, I don't know what was going on. Mm, but it's always uh, lower back for the golfers. How about that uh, heart stuff? Are we clear? Yeah, all clear on that. Um, We're the same, bro. I had the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, scary was, i think yeah we talked about like it was it wasn't the first time i felt it first time i've told anybody about yes. it yes which i know how stupid that sounds like yep. or same boat i did the exact same we thing we're just dude. like ah, like your heart starts fluttering and it goes away and you're like ah oh, mm-hmm. maybe i had too much salt on that uh, yeah or maybe i'm just out of shape right now who knows right, yes right. yeah maybe too many hot dogs yesterday i yeah. don't know but, so uh, how did it come to a head there uh so we was like I mean, after practice one day, my heart was kind of fluttering, and uh, like I said, I'd felt it. I'd felt it earlier that week. Like it kind of happened, and usually I just like after practice go jump in the cold tub, like cool off, and I'd kind of like just forget about it, or it did calm down. And uh, that day, I got done early. I just I had a little extra time before meetings. So I was like, let me go get this checked out. Like, might as well. I got nothing else to do. Like I'm gonna kill some time. And then that's when the doc was like, "Oh yeah, you're you're an AFib right now." I was like, "Oh, sick! Like, <laughs> what is that? What is that? <laughs> like, we got meetings in like ten minutes." So, <laughs> he's like, "Nah, like you need to go go see somebody." And so they had like one of the little interns, like me and him, were just like riding in like his little car up to I don't even know where we went, but to like the heart doctor, and they did all these tests and stuff, and. It was yeah. like 150 beats a minute, 170 a minute, it AFib. Was, it wasn't rolling like that. It was just like, it was just irregular. Yeah. So like I was in like a normal. Rhythm. Ri- or like in a normal like beat per minute, but it was just irregular. It would be like, dun dun. Dun 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 dun. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mine was a uh, little, hev- I had tachycardia, which, mm. and that was, it was measured at 285 beats a minute. Yeah, that's right. That rolling. was college. And then I, then later. I got atrial flutter. You were AFib. AFib so my yeah. flutter was like 150, but it was the same kind of thing, man. It was a light. It was light, so it wasn't a heavy beat, yeah. but it was like, man, am I just out of shape right now? Or yeah. I, I didn't know what was going on. Um, and then just random, my throat was hurting. Went to the doctor in Phoenix because there's a doctor on site every week. And I'm like, yo, my throat was hurting all last week. Can you see if I have strep? And he looks in there. He's like, no. And then he takes my vitals. And he's like, uh, you need to go to the emergency room. I'm like, I'm totally fine, dude. I'm yeah. like talking to you right now. Yeah. He's like, no, your resting heart rate's like 170. And I was like, what? That's <laughs> wild. Yeah, I was like, That's not normal? What? No. <laughs> yeah. So just random stuff. Yeah. But yeah, glad but you're did, okay, dude. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, I did that. They gave me some medicine. It didn't go back. So I had to get it like... Uh, Shocked they back shocked in the you room. back yeah. in sometimes, so you didn't have to have an ablation or anything. No, I haven't had an ablation, no. mm. but yeah, they just did the shock. Uh, and honestly, they put like I went to sleep for that, so I didn't nothing. Like it was, it was fine. The worst part was they had to shave my chest. Yeah. Um, <laughs> which I mean, you know, like, dude, it was so itchy. Like when you like, on the pads it. and stuff. Yeah, yeah, and then it gets to where like I still had a, a hair around my nipples, so I looked like a psycho because. Like, <laughs> My stomach's hairy, like just around my nipples is hairy, yeah. and like there's two like squares on my chest. You have to just... shave it all off. Well, yeah. I ended up yeah. shaving it all off. Well, when you get in a get an ablation, dude, they go through your groin, and you gotta yeah. shave everything down there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a little awkward. That's just my legs already run beforehand. My legs yeah. run together down there. All the hair's gone anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> little bald spots. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tool. Hey. Lifelong hey guys. lifelong Jag fan over here. What do you got for Shiley? What do I got for Shatley? I don't know. What do I got for Shatley? 
What 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 happened? What kind of sports what, are your what, kids what, playing? Right? How, how many kids you have? Three. Three. Now? Three. You're yep. in the youth sports oh, arena. Yeah. Full so, throttle. You've got like American what are your Ninja thoughts? Warriors going on at your oh, house. Yeah. Like so so Shatley's got this set up in his house and. I'm very jealous because I wanted to do this, never did, but creates this like jungle gym, rock climbing wall. In the house? Yeah. Like nice. his, his kids could probably all do in, insane pull ups. Yeah. So we've got like a jungle gym in like the, like a bonus room upstairs. And it's got like, it's like a real short monkey bars, like a little climbing thing. Um, the garage, those where they have all these swing, like we have like gymnastic rings and I've like lined them up. And I'll just like swing from bar to bar, and then like they have like a rope climb that they'll do. Is that something you grew up with? No. Is your wife? How, how, I mean, you're you're strong as hell, but like how how did you get this massive? Uh, Chopping wood. Genetics. I did chop a lot of wood. Yeah. When I was little, yeah, my grandma had a wood stove, so cut a lot of wood, a lot of biscuits and gravy. <laughs> yeah, it looks like uh, you could be that you would be the same if you didn't work out. Like you're just naturally. I like, hear that a lot. Yeah, I don't know around. if I love to hear that. They're like, I'm like <laughs> after football, I'm like, is this is like, is this it? Like, is this just like what? The- well, you do see a lot of the O linemen after football. They're not even recognizable anymore. Right. That it just falls right off of them. Yeah. Dude. What's that about? I don't know, man. I hope is that, it the tra- training? Training helps me too. Yeah. yeah. I, don't, I think a lot of guys. Yeah. Obviously, like you want to. That's my big thing. Is like I want to lose some weight once I'm done because. Uh, I, I I don't I'm no doctor but yeah I can't imagine like it's good for the joints to walk around with like at 310 you know what I'm saying what's your stance on tackle football and with kids like you you have kids or are mm-hmm. they or is when is it necessary I don't know I don't know when necessary is like I think it's good to learn it like I don't know, maybe middle school yeah but I think like, I mean obviously there's a lot of developments in the helmets and stuff from what like when we grew up playing football and there's also like some development and i remember like the first year of football that i did like the first drill you do is like you go out there and you're like ah, bull in the ring like everybody circle up and <laughs> smear the queer <laughs> 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 like you know you get one guy in the middle and like they start calling out numbers and you're just like looking and you get drilled in the back of the head and you're like i'm not sure how this is making me better at football <laughs> right. my brain hurts uh Yes, I don't know. I think like I don't. They're, I'm. I think that drill is outlawed. I think they outlawed like was it Oklahoma drill where like you just line up and just yeah. You see it in spring break on the beach now. Yeah, you so just line two chicks up and like, or, right, or, or, right. or the Phoenix <laughs> Open. <laughs> what a yeah, mess then that they was. In football, uh, and then it gets popular on like TikTok or something like you know eating Tide Pods like. Oh my how is how Oklahoma's outlaw? That it was just two on one, right? Or was it three on one? I don't know. Is there like, like is that a Del Rio? We got was he so a, so. My boy is a wood chopper. Eleven. We did JDL last year. Have you heard? Yeah. You yeah. know what that is? Yeah. yeah. And we also have done flag for three or four years. Yeah. And flag now is getting fun as shit, dude. Because these yeah. kids, there's no more booger eaters left. Like yeah. they're all good, and there's action every play. Like it's yeah. boom, 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 boom. This JDL league. I mean, it is a developmental league. It was. It was like watching the games was painful it was like one play every two minutes yeah two yards up the middle yeah just not a lot of action going and i feel like for do you feel like so do you feel like the flag I think it was way too early they step like they took a step back i i i i would i would bet a lot of money if you pulled the 11 and 12 year old kids they like flag better than tackle right now just there's no action in tackle, dude. There's yeah. just not. It's too much equipment. Too dude, much, way too, too pads, much equipment. Helmets, it's all you know. equipment. Yeah. Do they do eleven on eleven? Uh, I, don't, I don't remember. Flag. Do you feel like that? Like flag game, five on five. You can have too you, many people out there. I think. Do you ever think that the game could get more towards that? Because I mean, you already look at the Pro Bowl. They're doing. Yeah. They do flag football. Well, right? that's kind of feels like that's the way the offenses are run now. You know, it's right. Just it, it feels past, flagish. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I don't know. It'd be interesting to see. Like, I'll be interested. I, I'll just be interested to see in general what football looks like in ten years, anyways. How many concussions have you had? Uh, none from football. None that you know of, or do you ever think, man, none maybe, I maybe I was concussed there? I just have you ever there, had one? Period? I think I had one like when I was a kid, jumping into a swimming pool. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I've ever had one in football. There was one time in high school. I remember I hit like I collided with somebody like head to head. And I remember thinking, like, man, like something smells like it's burning. 
uh, that one could have been a concussion. Yeah. I don't know. But Maybe something that, was burning. May, there might have been something <laughs> on what fire. What about you? Know, got you a know, good nose. <laughs> <laughs> you ever had one? Uh, yeah, I have. I was uh, in high school trying to dunk with flip-flops on at a mm. party. Nice. And it was Jeremy Yagel's house. <laughs> R.I.P. Golly. Wow. That hurts to say, but... He had one of those pebble driveways that could, would get really slick. Yeah. yeah. And I had flip flops on and I went up, you know, a couple beers deep and. Feet under you? Feet under me, like drilled right here. Oh. Woke up in the shower sometime oh. later. Really? So you hit your head on the rim? Yeah, I woke up just in the shower. You, no, subtle, he hit. Subtle flex, but. Not on the pebble driveway. Yeah. Oh, on the driveway. Yeah. I thought you meant like you like jumped up and you just hit your no. head on the rim. I, like, I had okay. one in, in middle school. We played basketball before school on the outdoor co- courts if like the bus got there early. And I was, I, was, uh, I was going on a fast break, and this kid's coming down the left side to try and block my layup. And like midair, he just basically tackles me, and I, my head hits the pole, like the bas- the the hoop pole. Yeah, that was a hundred percent a concussion. I was messed up for days. What did y'all say? Were you just like sensitive to? It was like sixth grade, or? dude. I remember like just I, I they had to call my mom. It was a, it was a mess, dude. Yeah, yeah. both times I've, I've had two, and they were both uh, uh, bike related. Uh, like fifth grade, trying to go off a rad jump fell over the handlebars yeah. that's the last thing i remember come to in the doctor's office just covered in blood but no pain so i like i blacked out from the pain yeah. right away <laughs> but god like the it's just it's so weird to just come to in a different space yeah knowing like that you you had no idea how you got there yeah what, what uh what are you gonna do after football that's a good question how old are you 32 32 you got dude you got a lot of life left yeah that's the plan uh yeah right (laughs) um i don't know dude i've thought about like going into some kind of coaching i don't want to do it in the sense of like college or nfl i think it's just that's probably a little bit too involved Mm -hmm. i do think um i'd enjoy something smaller something lower key just like maybe have my own little gym and just specifically like hey like some of the high school kids like do like offensive line specific things because like that's the thing I, I know that I could speak into with like some conviction of like mm-hmm. I know I know I know I'm this. right here yeah. yeah did you play any other positions or always O line I played fullback in high school uh huh um but I don't have any like expertise on that like that was truly just bully ball Low, lower, they lower just needed head. somebody on the yeah. <laughs> push the pile <laughs> speaking of pushing yeah pile, what do you think of that. <laughs> I mean, if you can do it, do touch it. push. Why does it work? Uh, Did you guys I mean, study is it that? Of Kelsey? Like, do you when they started running that? Was there any? Was inside the locker room? Was there any like? All right, how are they? Let's dissect how they're doing this because it works. Yeah. Every time, like, what is the secret to I that? We've talked about it in the offensive line room. They, I mean, first of all, like, their offensive line does a good job just getting under the defensive guys. And you, if you watch, like they've found a good balance of like getting low so if the defensive guys go get too high they can get underneath them and push them and then jalen hurts is a animal too right you know what i'm saying he's strong so like if you get underneath them like you can just drive and and jalen does a good job too of keeping his feet you know sometimes you see quarterbacks like slip when they push off they'll slip when yeah. they push or they'll just try to like dive or something too soon but sometimes it's like it's like that patience of like knowing that you, i'm gonna have to ride the wave mm-hmm uh, and then there's like the other side of like also knowing that like I've seen this the defense lineman try to submarine the. What offense, do you mean submarine? Like go on, like just dive at their knees, at and the snap. Th- they're not trying to push them back. They're just trying to like make it toward the lineman can't push them back. So they're uh-huh. just like diving underneath them, and then even that like that's the one scenario where it's like okay, having so- that patience of like okay like your lineman can't drive a guy if he's laying on the ground, but like you can kind of like let the pile happen and then kind of go over top or mm-hmm. sounds like you, you got to have the right quarterback to run that. And it yeah. hurts is the one. Cause he's a freaking bodybuilder too. Right. I mean, his right. lower right. half. He's not Bryce tank. young back there. And, yeah. and you've seen other, other teams try it and, and fail. So. Yeah. And, and I it, think every quarterback has what they're good. Like Trevor, that reach over. He's so good. Like, love he, that. He's good at that. And like, and that's his thing. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Uh, you know, different quarterbacks have different things. You got some of those smaller guys that can kind of like scamper around and find an open gap, like you know, where you think it's coming right up the middle, and they can just kind of like play down the line and find a hole. Right. 
I think it's just doing like what you're good at, and like they've just they have found what they're good at. Well, y'all had a <laughs> kind of a similar start with the Eagles this year. Yeah, y'all got eight and three, and you've been a part of several terrible Jaguar yeah. teams. But did it feel different? It feel like okay, we are trending. We're going to keep this going, or did you see any cracks in the uh, armor? It felt good. Um, one of the things that was that we were rolling early in the season was we were getting a ton of turnovers. Um, yeah, I picked them, picked up the Jags D on uh, my fantasy team. They were yeah. they're balling out, lots of picks, yeah. returns for TDs. That masked some of the just the team in general. Like some of our mistakes were getting masked by the amount of turnovers we were getting. And then when it got later in the season, you know, other teams, it just everyone starts playing better football. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, you know, we just kind of – we hit a lull right there mm-hmm. at the end. And, um, yeah, I think early on – I mean, you know, turnovers, like they preach them. That's what we preach so much in the lock, like just in the team meetings. And, and then stuff. they killed us. Yes. Yeah, yeah they did. And so – um, we've talked about that so much. It's just like, I mean, turnovers are what, like, make, like win and lose football games. Mm-hmm. And I think early in the year um, we were getting a ton of turnovers. We were taking care of the ball. And then uh, we had – Then know, the, injury the injury absolutely. bug. injury bug. Yeah, it was nothing special on offense at that point. We just kind of kept waiting. We are like, oh, the defense is cranking right now. We'll wait for – once the offense comes along, we'll be mm-hmm. lethal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it just kind of never really happened. And then, like you said, they quit getting the turnovers. and Yeah floodgates open that defense wasn't quite the defense we thought we had yeah minus you know a few players a few guys making career career like seasons obviously josh allen yeah obviously obviously, yeah we got had good players i think just is there something to be said for guys like is it a real thing when guys just have career like how can we always see guys have career years right before contract years like josh allen yeah like you're just trying to the carrot just dangling we need to there should be some data on like (laughs) then the the next year what do they do right you know you sit back oh i got my money you know i think he he seems pretty focused like yeah he's been focused the whole time probably for Mm -hmm. sure yeah Yeah. he's He's gonna get paid i think sometimes once again it's just finding like your like what you're good like just honing in on your skills like okay like what really works for me yeah you know and some guys find it some guys um May it takes a little bit longer. Maybe they find it quicker. Maybe it, it maybe it never happens. I don't know. You know. How many times a season do you see Shad Khan? I see him a couple of times every. Like I'd say. Like, does he just pop in the locker room every now and then? Say what's up, guys. Yeah. Like I'm, I wouldn't say like it's not like an everyday thing. Right. Obviously, he's got. If a lot he's of in cool town, but yeah, if, yeah. yeah. If he's in town, he's he's around. He's out at practice. He's, have you been on the Kismet? I have. Yeah. Is it Our, sick? Uh, oh yeah. Dude, we were. Uh, <laughs> is your is the yacht sick? <laughs> 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 I bet it is. <laughs> I think it was. It nah, was it's a, a shitty yacht. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I got another season. <laughs> uh, no, nah, it was our rookie year. They had like the Christmas party on there. Oh, nice. I Com- got on there and I was like, Company trying to, like, Christmas party. Yeah. I was like trying to be funny. Like, oh, like, you ever do any fishing off this thing? <laughs> and then he's like, they're like, uh, no, but we have the boats downstairs. I was like, oh, what? What? And like, sure enough, you go into like the boat. whole, there's like other boats in the boat. <laughs> yeah. Just, if you want wild. to. Yeah. That is so cool. Dude, there's an elevator on it. Gosh. How big is it? Nine was it ninety some feet? This boat? Yeah, I don't, I don't know I don't the dimensions. Know. I could look it up real quick. What about Tony? I know, I know what about Tony he Khan? Is he out? more involved? <laughs> yeah, he's around. He's yeah. more involved than yeah. Yeah, he's a great dude. He's so like I he looks it. like a blast. He, oh, he's a blast. Yeah. yeah. Does he live here? I don't know. Uh, the length mat of the Kismet, which was sold uh, recently, um, three hundred and twelve feet. Oh my gosh, it's <laughs> a cruise ship. <laughs> it is. It's a pretty big boat. That's mega, mega yacht. What do you do? What are you doing? All right, before we get out of here, what are you doing like from here till you just listen? If your agent calls you when free agency opens, you're just staying in shape and working out and being a dad. Yeah. Kind of till. Yeah, right now. Yeah, just working out. Um, just like I said, staying in shape, trying to – I do a little bit of different stuff in the off season just to try to keep it, like, entertaining. You know what I'm saying? I do fishing. A, I do some fishing. Uh once it warms up, I'll do a lot more fishing. Offshore? Or? I used to stay inshore. Really? I've been trying to plan. So, actually, I'm later today, I'm going to go meet with some guys. I'm planning a big trip. 
uh, next year I want to go to Alaska oh. and do some fishing out there. At, uh, I think it's called the Rainbow Lodge. One of my buddies, uh, uh, Charlie Martin, he guides out of here. And he also guides in Alaska. Like and, seasonal? Yeah. Mm. And uh, so I'm trying to plan that. Um, but yeah, other than that, like I'm staying in shape. Uh, I do some different stuff in the off season, like staying in shape. I do a, a Brazilian jiu-jitsu, a little bit of something like that, just to like scratch that competitive itch. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because there's only so much time I can go and just like lift weights and it just gets like, and you're just like, oh, this is boring. Like I've been doing this my entire life. Yeah. You know, I've been practicing my whole life. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you walk into a dojo and some guy's got to take you on or how does this work? Yeah, with your some people that like, choke me out in a second though. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Like just rolling there. It's uh, it's so much fun. That's a lot of fun. And that's, I wrestled growing up too. So it's like, it's very similar to that. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's nice too. Cause like, there's just so much to learn. I think that's like one of the biggest things like, and you know how it is. It's like, when you find something else and you're like, Oh, like there's so much to learn here. Mm -hmm. It gives you like a, like another, something to, something to shoot for. Same thing with this, like with the podcast, with the live forever golf, it's like, like you are, you're climbing that mountain again. Cause that's what we all like as men. We're all just like, man, like, like we need that mountain to climb. We need something to do. Otherwise you're just like going to work every day. Like, what am I doing, man? Like, mm -hmm. it's nice to have that like thing. So, I do that. Uh, my oldest son, he's doing flag football. Where uh, at? Jack's Beach? At uh, UNF. UNF? The I-9. Yeah. 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 That's, uh, dude, that's been wild. Like, it's just, it's the first time that he's, like, actually done something, like, truly competitively. So, like, in the past, like, he did t-ball one year, but, like, they didn't really do games. It was, yeah, like, t -ball. they practiced, and then, like, all the kids would get, like, three hits yeah and then they all just it's a they, tie and they always win the tie and they always they all ran home, like, they all hit home runs yeah. they all ran the whole time <laughs> it's a photo op <laughs> yeah he did soccer last year and once again it wasn't like a game it was just it was like i don't know like 50 kids just like herding cats so they're, they're everywhere mm -hmm. and they're kicking the ball um and they, they would kind of play games but it's like it'd be like three on three but like the the teams would change each time so it wasn't like his team mm -hmm. um but it's funny to like, I was like, oh, my son's so funny, man. When he would used to do that, he would uh, what do they call it in basketball, like snowburn or whatever, like whenever you oh uh, like, cherry picking, cherry picking, yeah. And bro, he would do that. So like he figured out like when the kids would get in the middle and get like all bunched up, and then like the ball would squirt out and go to the sideline. Like if the ball went out, like the coach would throw another one in. Mm -hmm. And dude, he would cherry. Like, he would kind of like when he saw the ball getting like towards the out, he would like kind of like back up. And then the coach would roll another one in, and it'd just be him like beeline one, him to the goal, just one on one on the goal. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's I great. Um, I got some questions about Mahomes. Um, we were just talking about the Super Bowl earlier, and I'm trying to maybe draw a golf comparison, comparing Mahomes to to Tiger Woods and and these other quarterbacks. You know, the Josh Allens yeah. and. Lamar's or, or the Phil Je Phil uh, Mickelson and Ernie Els of this that generation where I think those guys would win the big game but they can't win the big game because they're going up against the greatest of all time so yeah. it's you, you think about the, the the coaches that are fired because of this and yeah. the families that have to reposition and move around like the ripple effect that Mahomes can create I mean, the only thing they're talking about right now because it's over is what did Mike Shanahan do for overtime? Right. And like it was our first ever Super Bowl overtime with these new rules. And yeah. It's just you've gone up against them or not um, from your side of the ball, but what's it like watching that guy work? Yeah, it's wild. Well, it's like like you said, dude, like, we're like you're watching the Super Bowl and, you know, the whole – like that's the question all week was like, who do you think's going to win? Who do you think's going to win? And like – I mean, I just – I thought that the 49ers had a better team, but the Chiefs were rolling, and they've just – they've been there so many times. Dude, Mahomes has been there so many times. Like, like I, I feel like that alone gives them the edge. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Uh, and, dude, it's just – yeah, I mean, like, it's like an expectation that – like, they – like, when – if, like you said, like, we talked about this earlier, like – when Mahomes gets the ball, then the Chiefs' offense, like, it's not – like, obviously he's a very good player. And it's, it's the, the offense, the whole team in its entirety, the defense play well too. But, like, it, there's just the expectation of, like, 
Dude, anything could happen. Yeah. You they cannot let a guy like that you, hang around yeah. at ever, all. Ever. It's yeah. Tom Brady all over again. It's like yeah. the 17 Jack game. It's like we let them <laughs> hang around just enough. I mean, we got yeah. screwed by some calls, but we let them hang around just enough, and then all of a sudden you can feel it in the stadium, and you're yes. like, oh, God. Yeah, here it comes. He's, he's taking over. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like They're, they're, they're going to get a call. Yeah. They're, they're going to make a big play. Well, listen to this, Stas. I'll tell you how special Patrick Mahomes is. I heard this on the radio today. Lamar Jackson's defense in the playoffs, in every game he's played in the playoffs, has given up an average of like 15.7 points per game. Lamar is 2-4, and four, okay? Yeah. Mahomes' defense, it's like 21.6 is I the average, this. and wow. he's like 15-3, and three, dude. I mean, yeah. I might be off on that record, but it's no, there was it's a six like point that. difference in in average points the D's given up. I mean that 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 that's freaking special, dude. Yeah, isn't he doing what Tom Brady did to Peyton Manning back in the day? How many titles yeah. Yeah. does Peyton C- Manning have? Cucking him if there's no Tom Brady. <laughs> yes, Every right? AFC Championship, <laughs> right? It's like Ryan Lochte and Michael Phelps. I mean, There's it's like if house. Phelps didn't exist, Lochte would be the the Phelps. You know? Yeah. Yeah. That's that's. So it's not a get rich, rich quick league. Um, and thinking about our boy Trevor, really just year three. Yeah. And back to back winning seasons. Yes, yeah. we had a, a, a crappy finish to this year, but everybody's knee was twisted or ankle was mm. bum. And um, we want to overlook a lot of the the reasons why uh, the the real reasons, not these underlying reasons. Yeah. Um, but to, to a guy like a Josh Allen and Lamar that just keep getting there, you've got to be. They they finally got him on the road, and he still came in their house and and took their manhood. Yeah. I mean, That's how wild. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I, like I said, it's just dude. It's like once they get rolling, like once, like you said, like once you they get like that one play or that's and then you just feel it like it's just you can feel it in the stadium even away you're just like yeah they're back they're and then rolling. the whole team As buys a, in and then chad yeah. Henney takes them down the field <laughs> Has there ever, you're like, golly yeah. has there ever been a time where you felt that on the side you know, like you're on the side you can't do anything you're on the sidelines yeah. and you feel the momentum com- completely switch and then boom something crazy happens and it doesn't switch you're saying, you're saying like you're, you're like saying like like, like the safe, like then, this is a this might not be a great example because we haven't been in this situation but like the Super Bowl with Pete Carroll when he called the pass on the one yard line yeah. against the Patriots and clearly the Patriots eh, there's no way one of their fans thought they were going to win that game when Seattle had it on the one with yeah. four freaking shots yeah has that ever happened to you in a game with the Jags where it's been I mean, I'm sure it has I, like my first well I mean. Think about last year. I was uh, gonna say it happened a couple the, times last char- year. It felt yeah, like the Chargers game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was what, in what, Thailand for that. You know, however, we're at Dallas. However much and then Dallas. Yeah, the was Ravens that? game. Yeah, we came year. back. Yeah, it's like you know we get that score out right before half. Where Chargers you can call game. it and say we're gonna win this game. Yeah, that was a I shitty question. Know. It's a bad it's question. Like, there's like there's a lot of. <laughs> I feel like there's like a lot of opportunities for that. Like that, that's happened where. You're just like man, like if we can just get like that's uh, I think the charge game would be the best example. Where you're like if we can just get going, man, like mm-hmm. like it's we can probably, get rolling. And it's then, probably when Mahomes went down last year in the playoff game. It's like this is it. Like here's our spot. Like it's it's all coming our way now. We got Mahomes on the sideline, Chad Henney on the two yard line. Yeah, and then nope, Chad Henney's going ninety eight. Yeah, I down still there. don't think Agnew caught that ball i don't think it was a fumble it was an incomplete pass yeah i'm with you on that. we never got to that. well we never got to see a re you're on the field dude we, they never fucking replayed it on tv yeah it's like come on it, it, every other turnover you're replaying right 47 times yes yeah. mm. we want so badly to get to a super bowl other teams right now want so badly to win a super bowl yeah it's it's two different feelings i think the city would go nuts absolutely had that feeling against the patriots mm-hmm. and had that same feeling against the chiefs we're tasting it i mean yeah. we're, we'll get there and our division's like, getting harder though dude yeah it is dude yeah the kid the stroud all the teams look good stroud looks really good ar um yeah man they all look really good um yes yeah, like you said man like i i I would love to at least just taste that once because I think the city would just – even last year, like, going into the playoffs, like, it's just a different feel around here mm-hmm. when when we were rolling, you know? Oh, yeah. And that's just – it's such a – it's a good feeling. Like, 
it, it kind of makes up for all the it, the, the, the rough years. Because, like, there's been some rough years where I, like, I don't want anyone to know I even play for the Jags. I, mean, I never know what they're going to say. <laughs> Which like, is so bad because there's it's the freaking NFL, dude. There's only 32 teams. There's only so many spots. Like, yeah. you should feel great about yourself. You're in the freaking big leagues. It's, it's like you a know? major league. I play for the Indians. Mm, yeah. I didn't like, even uh, know they still had a team. Yeah. <laughs> right. Dude, that's what I just remember. Like, I remember, I don't remember, I was, like, I was younger. It's so like probably my first or second year. We were doing a hospital visit. And it's like, we're like walking in. This guy's like, hey, like, y'all play for the Jags? And we're like, yeah. And like, you know, at first I'm like, oh, nice. Like somebody recognizes us. He's like, man, y'all should all donate y'all's whole paychecks. Y'all suck. Oh, my <laughs> God. Like, all right. like, I'm in a hospital. <laughs> yeah, like, all right, I hope I you get, get better. better. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it's like, that, like, there's like stuff like that where I'm like, those years where I'm like, oh, God, I hope nobody knows. Like, I hope nobody recognizes me. I don't want to. Any there's just like, even times now, like, it's tough because like after the way the season ends and it's funny too because like people be like oh dude like what happened or they'll start saying stuff about like a specific person They're like what do you think about that guy and i'm like oh you mean like one of my best friends like <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I think it's just funny like when people like they look at it and they're like they don't see it as like there's like oh like you just you guys work at the same place like yeah i'm gonna talk i'm gonna like run this guy down and like hopefully like you'll agree with me and like give me the inside scoop and i'm like no nah, man, like that's like, yeah, that's uh, my guy. Boy. That's my guy. Yeah. Like, I, I work so, with him. Like, yes, yeah, like he's like, we work together every day. Like, and so like that's like that's one of the toughest things. Like when when we're not playing well, is that yeah, like everyone wants to give their opinion, mm-hmm. and especially when it's like a specific person, and I'm like, yeah, like you mean like oh yeah that guy like yeah he's like one of my best friends like please tell me more about like how bad you think he is, and, <laughs> and then like I also know I'm like. The only reason you're saying his name and not my name is because you're talking to me. If you right. if you saw him walking around later, you're gonna be like, dude, Tyler Shatley, he's so old, like his heart doesn't even work anymore. He needs to get out of here. <laughs> Can you imagine playing for anybody other than the Jags though? At this point, ten no. years, no. yeah. That's well, what my wife and I have talked about. I think it's it's either Jacksonville or bust. Like, yeah. I'm not gonna my. You hear that, Jacksonville? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Come on. Do the right thing. Do the right thing. One Come more on. year. <laughs> One more year. Guys yeah, I mean, the kids like It my, is an election year. We will have right. yeah. 69 <laughs> on the ballot. There we go. But yeah, I, I, like my daughter will be in school next year. My son's already in school. Uh, I'm not going to I'm not going to move them around. I mean, you're part of this to, community, dude. To chase a dream. Like to can you like I've already I've chased the dream. I've like done the thing. I'd love to stay here and do it, but I'm not going to, like, uproot my family, pull my like, kids out of school just to be, like – Do a year hang, in Seattle. Hanging on by a thread. Yeah. Like, no, I can still do it. Like, I've done the thing, man. Like, like is it cool? Absolutely. But at the end of the day, dude, if we win every game, two days later I'll come home and guess what? There'll still be dishes to do. There'll still be laundry to do. Amen. Kids will still need mm-hmm. – like, you'll still need to, like, pack lunches and – and if we lose every game, it's the same thing. So yeah. I'm not like as much as yeah, I'd love to win a Super Bowl, but I'm not gonna like just run my body down, move my family around to chase down that fleeting feeling of like, oh, I did it, or like, oh, I played one more year, you know. Mm-hmm. It's a great perspective. Love it. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm wise beyond his years. I'm good 32. at saying those things, but like <laughs> living is another thing. Like, well, I think that I've always was told that you know the the closer you are to the football, the smarter you are as a player right. on the on the team, and you uh, you touch the football a lot. So, yeah. well, I, and it was funny you were talking about having to come in and uh, and start snapping the ball. Mm. Like, was that you've been substituted into a game when the center goes out? Yeah. I mean, that's. What does that feel like? That's got to be a lot of pressure just on the side. Just yeah. I got to go get five snaps in before this next right. series. Right. So that one's always like a yeah. The sit, like playing center is always an interesting one because like the snap is like the the play cannot happen unless the snap happens. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Uh, so that one's a lot. I've always one of the things I always thought would be so funny though is like in a, like it hasn't happened before, but like to go in. I've like told Trevor this before. I'm like, dude, like one time if this happens, like let's go in like you snap one to me just to like get a reaction from everybody. <laughs> 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 um, I thought that'd be a good one, but I'm honestly, go up gun. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's 16 under center. Yeah. But you know how, cause like, you know, how they say on the sides, like they'll do it like right in like the center will yeah. snap a couple, like 
like I mean, how oh, on the side. Yeah, yeah. No, if you, like, imagine like <laughs> while like, like there's a TV time, there's a timeout, and you just see like Trevor snap. Like, I'm under center, like taking a couple snaps from right. Trevor. And I'm like, what's going on? Like, <laughs> throw him off, you know. <laughs> but uh, honestly, the, the, talking about s- snapping though, like the most nervous I've been though to sn- to step in was uh, it was 17 playing the Chargers. I was the emergency long snapper. Our snapper, oh. Oh. he did something. I can't remember. I think it was a knee or shoulder. Was it Z uh, or, or Matzik by then? Um, I think it was uh, uh, Carson Tinker. Okay, Tinker. Wow. Was it Tinker? I think it was Tinker. So you had to come in. 17 long snaps. Dry it's not, fire it's not like you're snapping the shotgun. No. 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 So this is, we're playing the Chargers, and we came back. Uh, the la- the first snap I had was to tie the game. At the end of the – it was like the – Field goal? Game-tying field goal. Oh, so I walk in there, and I'm like – and uh, I go in, and one of the defensive guys is like, hey – Hey, it's a new snapper. He's gonna screw it up. Oh, I was like, God. No, uh-uh. <laughs> like, Your mom. I was, like, <laughs> I, was like, I was like hoping to like sneak in and like no one would notice that I was in, but yeah. then like they pointed it out and I was like, no, no, no. Oh. <laughs> uh, so we uh, snap it like he kicked it. We get, it's good. We go into overtime, and then I think it was uh, I want to say AJ Boye got an interception. He's like running, and like I can promise you, there was no one cheering harder for him to score than me. So you didn't have to go so back on the field and snap. Yeah, and he gets tackled at like I want to say like the five or something. And dude, I'm like, come on, just like pitch it or something. Like you got to <laughs> score, man. And then it gets in like we center it, and like I go and snap it. And like when I'm snapping like a, like a long time, like I'm just like all I'm worried about is getting that ball back there. And like these guys are just blowing me up. Like I'm just getting trampled because like like we never cover like. When you're practicing out throughout the week, you do it like one day a week where you like you go out there and snap a couple, and no one ever rushes you. You never feel it like snapping and then like feeling it. So I just get trampled. I think the the Lambo kicks it. The ball gets tipped, uh, and it like goes through. And bro, like I've never felt such a relief in my life. <laughs> <laughs> like of course, like that that happens on a game where you like go into overtime. Like mm-hmm. I have that, but that was. Yeah, that was the absolute most I've ever like. They called a timeout to like freeze the kicker, and I'm like, "You just froze uh, the uh, snapper." Just, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that game. There was a fight that broke out in that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. And they're it out was... there. Yeah, they freeze the kicker. Like, hey, you want to get a couple practice times? I'm like, no, man. It's like a golf swing. Like, I can't use all my good swings on a practice. <laughs> 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 I've got like three good snaps, and like we already used two, one of them. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so good. Well, that was a lot of fun, man. Thanks yeah, for thanks coming in. I appreciate you having me on with Shit. us. Don't yeah. be a stranger. Jacksonville's own. You're, dude, you are, you're the guy in Jacksonville. One more it. year. One, One more, more year. year. Come Trent, on. Trent. Come on, Trent. <laughs> Come on, Trent. <laughs> One time. All right. Thanks, Tyler. Thank you. Appreciate it, guys.